Hello, family. This is Deborah Yow with Black Education TV. Now, I know that some of us are tired of hearing of what is happening to our people in this country. For a long time, those of you who have followed my channel for years, you saw that I, I went along a certain pattern of stories that I talked about, and then I pulled away from it, and here I am back talking about these things again. It causes a lot of grief to see our people going through certain things. But there's an understanding to be gained with all of this family. There's a story that really disturbed me. And it was where a judge was berating this black woman so badly. This woman's in the wheelchair. She has COPD, having trouble breathing. And she's being as polite as she can. The judge asks her a question. She tries to answer the question. And when she makes an attempt to answer the question, she's being cut off in a very rude manner. This judge doesn't want to hear this woman talk. And she clearly looks like she has some type of entities in her, the judge. Like there's a manifestation of demons going on because this woman is trying to answer her questions and she is clearly frustrated with this woman trying to even answer the questions that she's asking. And when the woman goes on to tell her that she's having trouble breathing and she needs a breathing, some assistance breathing, this witch goes on to say that, uh, I didn't ask you all of that. I didn't ask you about your breathing. Now, family, listen, I understand what the Bible says. I understand it's the curses and all of this. But for my people who don't know why this stuff is happening to us. There are many such as myself who are going to keep on telling you until you understand. You have got to understand what is happening, family. We can no longer reside in La La Land. Now, those of you, like I said, who have followed my channel for some time and you already know this stuff. Well, we already know this. This has been happening. Well, this is not for you. This video is for those who are new to the channel, new to the truth, and are finally getting an understanding of what is happening to our people. I mean, for goodness sake, I remember there was one celebrity who said she didn't even know it was that bad for black people in this country. That's because she was thrust into a world of wealth, riches. Not per se wealth, because wealth and rich is two different things, right? But she was thrust into this world of entertainment to where she had enough money to just close her eyes to all of it. But there was something that happened to where she could no longer ignore it. And she said she had no idea it was this bad for our people. So guess what? I know people personally like that who only reside in their little part of the world and the only face of violence they know is one that looks like them, but they had no idea that we were systematically targeted as a people. So this video and many of my videos are for those who don't know, not for those of you who say, oh, that's old news. Oh, that's been happening. Yes, I know it's been happening, but it is our job to wake up those who don't know. It is our job to cry aloud and spare not and to lift up our voices like trumpets in Zion, and to show our people their transgressions. It is our sins that have separated us from our Father. Anyway, back to the lady in the wheelchair in the, in the courtroom, being berated by this witch. The woman dies one day after being released from their custody. Because they never want to believe us when we say we can't breathe or we're having trouble breathing or we're having some type of episode. Now, the woman did say, do you need water or something? In a very rude way. She said it very rudely, asked the woman if she needed water. Family. When I look at that whole scenario, she was there because apparently her daughter swung on her and she dealt with her as a parent deals with her. And now the daughter, which is a teenager, is now saying, I'm a teenager who is now going to have to bury my mother. This is what the young woman is saying. But her mother was put into that situation even because of her behavior. You never swing on your mother. So there was an environment that was created 
where all of this stuff came together. Police were called. Mother's dead now. Now the girl is crying because now she has to bury her mother. So much to this story, family. So much to this story. So much disrespect coming from many different directions. The young person to her mother, the judge to the woman. I don't know the woman's complete role in all of this because the news report I saw just talked about how the judge berated her and how she was, and it showed how she was being very polite to the judge even in all of that. Just merely answering the questions. I understand that there's more at play here, more at work here behind the scenes, family. There could be something where the Most High has allowed this to happen for whatever reason. But I am trying to point out merely the fact that we are in the land of our captivity and those that hate us are ruling over us. And they have no consideration for the old, young, man, woman, short, tall, fat, skinny. They don't care. They don't care if you're a baby or senior. None of that matters. And you ask yourself, how can this be? And instead of us whining and crying about these things, in which that's what many of them, I have this one Gentile that's always on my, my videos. Whenever I'm talking about black issues to where I'm telling us we need to get ourselves together. Oh, you don't hear anything from them then. But the minute I'm pointing out something that they are doing, they say that we are whining and crying and that we're playing the victim. These people are laughable. You just have to ignore them because they can't help themselves. They are reprobate. And I'm only talking to those that it apply to. I'm not talking to every last one of you. You say that we're whining and crying. Don't get so sensitive when I'm talking about or pointing out something that is being done to my people by your people. Go and talk to them about what they are doing. That is what your job is. Like Pastor Dana Stevens, that is what he does. He's pointing out to his people the wrongs that they have done to us. And I commend him for that. And I know some of you so-called black people don't even want to hear me say that. You don't want me to commend him for doing that, but I'm going to do it. Scripture says he's going to bless those that bless us and curse those that curse us. And he also said that if your ways be found pleasing and righteous in the most high's eyes, even your enemies will be at peace with you. So I thank Pastor Dana Stevens for telling his people about themselves, because when we do it, we're whining and crying. So the job that he is doing, I'm OK with it. Please tell your people that they are doing the wrong thing. And we will con tell, continue to tell our people that they are doing the wrong thing, that we need to repent. While he tells his people they need to repent, I'm going to continue to tell my people, that they need to repent, that we collectively need to repent. Because that is the only solution to our problems. These things are happening because we refuse to repent, family. So they need to get off of their high horse and stop coming to put us in check for talking about these things. And we need to get off of our high horse thinking that we have nothing to repent of. Because there is deliverance when we repent. Remember the scripture that says, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. This is when we're going to see change family. But I want to continue to share these stories with those of you who don't pay attention. Many of you intentionally turn off the bad news and I understand it because at one time I just couldn't take it anymore family. I remember even one, at one point my mom said, I got to stop looking at this stuff. I can't look at it. I can't stand it anymore. I need to take a break from all of this. And I said, Mama, I understand. But when it is your commission to help wake up the lost sheep of Israel, you have to tune it in. I can't tune it out, family, because it touches my heart. I love my people. Yes, Sometimes your people can work that last nerve. Yes, they can. Sometimes our people can be so hateful, so bitter, so wicked that you just want to just go into your own little corner of the world and say, let every man be for himself and Yah for us all. Sometimes you want to do that. But when you have a commission, you have to fulfill that commission. 
that mandate that's on your life. I love you, family. Let's keep on praying for one another. Let's admonish one another daily to repent and turn back to the Father and to keep his laws, his statutes, and his commandments according to how the word told us to do it, not the way we want to do it. Okay, family, I'm out. Shalom.